Turnitin can be used via My Courses as a learning tool for improved writing. The program flags similarity and mechanical errors in written work via originality and grade mark reports. If you choose to enable this service for your students, you're going to place a, a statement that's within the tutorial um, in your course syllabus. This particular tutorial will show you how to enable Turnitin uh, on a new Dropbox. So I'm going to click on the Submission Review tab, click Drop Boxes, click New Folder, enter a name for the folder, click the checkbox next to Enable this folder underneath Originality Check. You should note that once you have this enabled for this drop, do drop box, it cannot be disabled. You should also note when the course is copied, the checkbox is unchecked and the feature must be re-enabled for each Dropbox each term. After you get it checked, scroll down to the bottom and make sure that the Show Advanced Originality Options checking options is shown. There's a number of items under here that you can turn on and off. The first one, Allow Submitters to See Originality Reports. This, choose this option if you'd like your students to see the originality report that is generated for the submission. Honestly, not sure why this one isn't checked. This is one that I would definitely check because I want my students to see the originality report because this is meant to be a learning experience. Frequency, that is automatic, automatic originality check-in on all submissions. That means all submissions made to the Dropbox will be checked for originality. Identify individual students for submissions. This is only specific submissions made to the Dropbox will be checked. So the first one allows, uh, puts all submissions in and are all checked. The second one, you physically have to put the submission in. So leave that checked the way it is. Check submission against user paper database. This checks plagiarism for users previous submissions to the Turnitin database. That's good to be checked because if a student gets a paper from some other student from another semester, then it will come out flagged as 100%. Current and archived internet. Searches for the internet for matching content. Keep that checked. Periodicals, journals, and, and, and publications. Searches periodicals, journals, and publications for content similar to submissions. Those should probably be checked. Index files for originality checking. Allow other allow other files to be checked against submissions. Allow papers to be used in the paper user database for future comparisons. Again, probably should be checked. Grammar check uh, settings. Enable grammar check. If you have that checked, you can uncheck that. Then you can choose which handbook you want in terms of it to look for grammar. If you don't want that, uncheck that. And if you do have a check, you'll notice that the categories that it'll check is spelling and all kinds of things. So maybe leave that checked. When you're all done, click Save and Close. You'll be taken back to the folder, uh, Dropbox folder list. You'll see an icon next to the name of the folder, and that icon is the originality check being enabled.